right, we're going to work on exercise two now. Um, for this one, you don't need your, um, your overhead sheet. And for whatever reason, these pictures, if you do use your overhead sheet, they don't exactly match up. So, uh, but they're supposed to. So what I want you to do is think through our translation is, and I've extended this line right here a little bit. Let me erase it so you can see what I did. Um, but my vector is this right here. It's HI. This is our vector. And this is um, the direction of our translation is um, from H to I. So it's vector HI up there, just like right there. Um, so that's what this is. And here's, here's the images that are being translated. Let's get everything on the screen now. So what I'd like you to do is just um, things that aren't labeled, label them. So remember our notation. We have our original, like if our original is point P, then the image is P prime, okay? Um, and remember that points map to points, angles map to angles of the same measure, and segments match, uh, map to segments of the same measure. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video and then come back and we'll label this together. Okay, so it's pretty clear that this angle here is being mapped down onto this angle here. So whatever this measure is, it's got to be the same here. So looks like 31 or 32 to me. It's a 2. So this has got to be a 32 degree angle. Okay, um, and we can label some points here too. So we've got... Um, three points that we can label, and it looks like they're A, B, C. So I'm going to have A prime, B prime, C prime. Okay, so I've done, I've done the angle now. Now let's look at the, the segment here. So this segment is five centimeters, and so this segment has to be five centimeters. Okay, this point is labeled D prime, so this must be the original D, because D is going to map to D prime. And this looks like E, so this point down here would be E prime. And it looks like we've got that one completely labeled. So we've done the angle, the segment, and now we're going to do these couple of points here. So these are labeled F prime and O prime, or P prime and O prime. So this is going to be point P, and this is point O. Okay, so just check your work on that, and we'll move on in a minute.